Hello everybody, Alexander here, back with another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. So today we're going to go back into the cave and hopefully the spawns are working correctly. And I'm going to be showing you guys the way that I like to tame up dung beetles. As well as, we're going to be getting some more chiatin because cryopods were just added to the game. And I would really, really like to get us some cryopods. So let's get into here and uh, kind of make our way down into here. So another quick side note is the save option was removed from the game. So I'm going to really just hope that I don't have the same issue I did before where like the save file got corrupted and there was just nothing I could do about it. Really, really hoping we don't have to start over again as we have made a significant amount of progress. While I'm on my way down here, I would like to remind everybody to please watch the episodes on this channel all the way through to the end as it does help tremendously. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed your time here today, and remember to hit that notification bell and tell your friends. We're trying to build a beautiful community here, and we cannot do so without you guys. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is, uh, because the dung beetles' levels don't actually matter, so I'm just gonna use the spoiled meat in the wolves' inventory to tame them. Okay, because we're also down here, like I said, for Kaiathan as well, so a little bit of everything. Just hoping the spawns are actually working. Um, it's been kind of hit or miss. Now, um, I'm pretty sure a Sabertooth gets more Kaiathan than the wolf does. It's just that the wolf pack can be used for a variety of things. So I figured just, you know, get a sizable wolf pack, because you can technically use them for running the redwoods. You just gotta be careful of, like, a thylo or bit you off your mouth, but that's about, like, the only actual problem. Yeah, just be ready. Have, like, a shotgun or something. We're working our way up to being able to fight the bosses, but it's about the, you know, the journey. Not necessarily getting there. It's about having fun doing it. And that's what we're trying to do. Alright, let's see here. And it's always, like, super intense in here. Yeah, see, right there is where I accidentally, uh, <laughs> hit the, uh, what is it, the survivor thing in my inventory when I had opened it to do something. Hello? Things that wish to kill me? That is like... Hmm, that's a, that's a great noise. It's just super, let me tell you. Do I have any of my... I do not. Okay, so... I forgot to grab bullets out of the bird. So if I get forced off, I'm just gonna have to run, and that's okay. Because I try to keep my uh, my carry weight kind of light, because as you guys saw, the wolves' carry weight is not great. Oh, hey, spiders, good. Okay, so with these, you just want to kind of back up in melee. Try not to, like, walk directly at them. Because if you start getting hit on all sides as the wolf, the wolf is going to just die, right? It up. Yeah, don't let them get on your sides, right? So you want to like try to force them to fight you just at the front of you. I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I was wearing hide armor, because those um the centipedes or whatever they'll just break your armor regardless. So I'm I'm not even a hundred percent sure if it's worth wearing the armor to come in here. You know, because it's just gonna break. Uh... Yeah, hi, Mr. Snack. Hello. Yeah, come on. Just kill the snack. Be okay. Okay. Let's just double check, like, the ceiling and stuff before we dismount. 
They, they did a good job uh, for the sound design for the caves. The noise carries like you figure it would. Give him that. Yeah, because he's a low level. Which, like I said, their level doesn't really matter, right? You're just you're just taming them so that you can put them on wander and get fertilizer from them gathering animal dung. And if you're playing in single player or on a PvE server, they don't need to be in wooden cages, right? There's literally no reason for it. You could just build, like, a room that you keep the Fiomias and the Dung Beetles in, and it would be fine. Uh, e like, you can put them in a wooden cage, but I don't. Um, now, for later things where it's, like, you know, the, um... The snails with, like, the gotchas, then yeah, you want the snails inside, like, a wooden cage so that they're not just going all over the place. Okay, and now once I have the dung beetle, I'm gonna run back out of the cave really quickly, throw it in the safety room, and then come back inside. I think it's funny that the only reason why the gloves aren't broken is because they came out of a drop and they're just like a ridiculous pair of gloves, realistically speaking. Yeah, come on, hurry up and be hungry again. I ain't got all day, dung beetle. Got stuff to do. Got kites in together. But uh, yeah, and at, like before I end the episode, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the chemistry bench because we did end up getting that. Uh, it was yesterday. Ended up getting my hands on one. Yeah, just let me... Why can I not pick you up? Is it because I have a shoulder pet? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you stay there. If, if he dies, he dies. Uh... Well, maybe, hold on. Can I get him to follow me out of the cave? Maybe. Let's see if this works. Because I know that they improved the following AI by, like, a good bit. So let's put that to the test, shall we? See if I can get him to follow me out of a cave. Okay, why am I getting fat shaped by the rock? Let's go. Okay, yeah, so far it's working. Okay, so now I know I have to keep the Dimorphodon in the safety room if I bring him with me. Which I think is kind of silly, like, if the animal's on my shoulder, it should not impede me picking up another animal. Like, at all. Come on. Quit getting stuck on the rocks, let's go. Look at us. Hell yeah. Is he still with me? He is. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright. I didn't I did not think that was going to work. Okay, throw him in there. Shut that. So that he is relatively safe. Oh god. Hello. There we go. Open this. Throw him in safety room and then go back out. Okay, great. Fantastic. Hop back on the wolf. Back in the cave. Okay. 
torch away so that it's not burning through its durability. Okay. And like I said, be you know, careful sprinting through here like this just because the game is a little bit glitchy, like in the caves. Because it's taking time to load what is basically a separate instance of spawn and raids and creatures and items and drops. You know, so just give it time to do its thing. We're gonna go down here and look for another dung beetle. And if I remember correctly, this and one or two other caves are where you can find them on the island, but this is the only way to get them on the island, from what I know. So you are going to want to make sure you're bringing a tame that can fight for you, and is good. Get him. Get him. He's trying to hide from us. Destroy him. Alright, let's see here. Hello, nature? Okay, so right about here in the cave is where stuff can start getting kind of scuffed. Because there are just a lot of creatures down here when the spawn rates are working. So usually I'll try to use my gun to get their attention. Yeah, see. And now that that's happened, all I gotta do is, like, walk back a little bit. But yeah, look at how many spiders there are. Isn't that nuts? Like, when the when the spawn rates are actually working, it's just like a ridiculous amount of spawners. Now, because we have Pokeballs now, you can... I mean, provided they work, I'm going to test them and then show you guys if they do or do not work once I have them. And, um... I mean, that's part of why I'm in here, is I needed more Polymer. And... Now that we have Pokeballs, you should be able to bring just about anything in here, I would imagine. Because the inside of the cave is big enough to, like, justify a larger tame. Uh, I want the wolf to hit a little bit harder. Honestly. I've always liked the wolves level up, it's, like, super cute. Oh. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey, look, I just want your chitin and all of the dung beetles that are in the game. Okay. It's a level 140 scorpion, so he's gonna be spicy no matter what. Now, you can also tame stuff in caves, it's just kinda like, at least as far as I know you can. Um, they may have changed it in ASA, I haven't tried, but you used to be able to. So just, you know, be aware of that. Get him. Now, as you can see, they have uh, built-in thorns, which is why, like, the wolf is taking a little bit of extra damage. Like, every time the wolf nibbles on one of those. So just, like, be aware of that as you're moving through the cave. Gotta force heal the wolf just a little bit here. Because I don't like taking stupid risks in caves, right? I would much rather just make the safe play, get what I need out of the cave, and then leave. There's no reason to do, like, dumb stuff to get the things you want. Right? The only time, like, super high risk should ever be done is if it's the only way to achieve what you're trying to do. Alright. I'm really glad the spawns are working, though. It gives you guys a, like, a general idea of how dangerous this cave can be. That way, you know, if you're watching this to get information on how to do it or where to go to do it, then, you know, it's not super bad. Hmm. I want to scout this room just a little bit before I hop off to grab him. I kind of wish he wasn't level 20, but it's okay. Oh, well. Uh, level 55 and level 25. So there's three of them in here. Interesting. Okay. Let's go over here just a little bit, make sure there's nothing lurking. No. Oh, hey, another dung beetle. Level 15. Okay. 
Now, so the thing with the dung beetles is if you attack any of them, all of the ones in radius will aggro to you, right? So you don't want to attack any of them until you've gotten the ones that you want, and then you kill the ones that you don't, right? So we're going to prioritize the level 55 one here. The artifact respawned. Uh, I might grab a second one of it while I'm in here just to have it. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, alright, and we got a fair bit of chitin too. Now, mind you, the wolf doesn't get, like, the most, because like I was saying, I think the saber tooth technically gets more. And you can put a saddle on a saber tooth, so it's kind of like dependent on what you want to do. I just, I don't know if a saber tooth's gonna fit through that opening at the start of the cave without a Pokeball. Like, it probably will, but I don't actually know. Okay, so we're gonna grab the dung beetle, we're gonna dip out of the chamber, and then come back in and grab the others. You know, at least one more. Uh, cause like, I like having four to five of them. You don't technically need four to five if you're playing in single player, but I like to have four to five because it lets me build like a giant greenhouse later. Um, because I like having a base, like one big one, where I never have to leave. Like everything I need is there. Because when you're breeding like creatures and stuff for boss fights, you want a base to be as self-sufficient as possible so that you're not needing to like leave all the time to go do stuff, you know? And where my base currently is isn't where I'm always going to live. I'm pretty sure I'm going to either move to a larger location, or as I think I stated prior, move the wall for my base out, like, a good bit, and then start building, like, you know, the breeding apparatuses and everything else now that I'm getting what I need online. Because we're getting to the point where I need to start doing ocean stuff as much as I hate the notion of going in the water. Um, I need to, because silica pearls are abundant in the ocean. As well as I need to start getting large ocean tames, so that when it comes to the later, like, ocean caves and stuff, I'll have something that can ferry me down there without there being too many issues. But yeah, I promised a, a dung beetle guide her video, so that's, that's what we're doing here today. Getting us some dung beetles, some chitin. You guys have gotten to see the cave and what it's supposed to be like. And, uh, yeah. Now you could, um, now that I know the follow mechanic works that way, you could probably bring two or three wolves in here with you. That's actually something I want to test, is, uh, like a small pack in here. Or in any cave, really. You almost hungry again there, bud? Because I would really, really like to tame you and get out of the cave, because I do not enjoy being in here. Awesome. See, that's the thing about the, uh, the spoiled meat, though, is that it takes longer to do it. Because I think with, like, one or two pieces of medium animal feces, you get it done, like, pretty much instantly. This room is really cool, though. I like it in here. I hope that, uh, I hope that aberration looks similar to this, just better. Because that is one of my favorite maps, and I'm very excited for us to get it in the future. Come on, Mr. Dung Beetle! Yeah, no, we're not naming you because you're literally just a Dung Beetle. Like, if people want me to name the Dung Beetles, they can put comments below in, like, the... below, like, the video. And whatever people suggest will be the Dung Beetle's names, you know, within reason. Because YouTube, but, like... Yeah, I don't... I don't see a reason to name them, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna get names. Like, if people comment names, I feel like they're suitable names for my dung beetles to have, then yeah. Sure, why not? So, right over here is the loop up. Come on. Go 
We're getting fat shamed by the rock, Mr. Wolf. Let's go. Just trying to get out of the cave. So that I could put the dung beetle in the safe room and then come back down for one of them. Now, the only downside to doing this this way without the Pokeballs is that I am going to have to make three trips. Um, or two, technically, because I could just drop the wolf at base and then come back with the RNG and then pick up one of the dung beetles. Oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the, the, what is it, the RNG's claws and then hold one as the survivor. There it is. The words were failing me there for a second. Alright, let's get our bisky boys out of here. Now, I know that I'm making the cave look easy, but it's not easy. Hey, get out of here! Go on again! Here. Him over there. Uh, you guys need food, don't you? Yeah. I like the auto pickup feature on them, it's really nice. Um. Mr. Wolf, come here a second, because I have to feed them, because I don't want them, like, starving while I'm in the cave. I mean, they won't, like, fully starve out, but I still don't like my animals not having food. It sketches me out. Put that in there. And put that in there. And that should be more than enough for the duration of time that I'm in the cave until I can get them back to base. Okay. We'll go get one more dung beetle and then probably call it a day on our caving. Um, now, with ASA, oh god, come on, I like that the, um, uh, real quick side tangent, I like that the, the belt light is making the, the wolf's face look like it's a, uh, like a wolf-shaped flashlight, and I think it's great, um, <laughs> it's kinda cute, uh, but, <laughs> anyway, uh, in ASA, the caves do not reset, when you leave them, it looks like. Because that's how it used to work in Evolve, was sometimes the spawns would reset by proxy of you just walking out of the cave. Um, that's not how that seems to work here. It seems to take, like, a, a good bit of time for them to reset. That and sometimes the spawns just don't work properly. Which I guess is to be expected. I mean, Ark's always had its problems. And I'm trying not to be too hard on the game. Primarily because it technically was kind of forced to be released a little bit earlier than they wanted it to be, so... I'm trying to be as generous as I can with my... You know... Views on the game and my reviews of it. Alright. So most of the shit here should just be dead, right? Should be running into too many problems, if any descending down here. I really wish I had a berry so that I could go in that water and get the uh, drop on the other side. But alas, I do not. Okay, so it's level 20. Wasn't this one like level 25? Yeah. Let's go for him. The belt light's really nice because it keeps your hands freed up to do other things. Now, I did make a minor helmet, and I was, like, messing with it a little bit back at base, and it... And I'll, I'll like, show it to you guys when I go back after the stung beetle. But, uh, it works really well, but my only concern with taking it into caves is that the, the stupid centipedes are just gonna break the damn thing. And I don't want that, because it's expensive to make them. And because the torchlight works the way that it does on your belt, there's, like, effectively no reason to craft it. I don't have what I need to repair this, but that's okay. Okay. This is going great, actually. 
Um, yeah, no, but like, yeah, dung beetle is not too difficult to get. You just need like a good caving team and pay attention as you're going through here because it is really easy to accidentally hit them. And uh, I'm working on getting like better acquainted with editing and working with some people that know editing to maybe get some better stuff put out, you know. We're, we're working on the quality of things here. Uh, YouTube's being weirdly difficult with my thumbnails because, like, I've had several images that I've wanted to use as the thumbnail and it keeps, like, giving me the message that the image is, like, too big or something. So, I gotta get that figured out. Um, but we are definitely making progress with the channel and I appreciate everybody who's here, you know? It means a lot. It's helping us grow and do the things that we're trying to do and build the community that we're trying to build. And I really hope everybody, you know, brings their friends along and helps us grow Sanctuary one person at a time, you know? Because it's going to be a process no matter what, but I really do need your guys' help to get that done because I can't do anything without my community. It's you guys that are making this possible at all, so very important to me that I voice that to you. Let's see. Yep. And then we just go on up and out of the cave. And then I'm probably gonna pause the video right when I get outside the cave. Get all the dung beetles back to base and then unpause and you know, show you guys some stuff. Oh god. That wall is always tricky. Might just be because I'm sprinting. Probably. It's alright though. It's alright though. I'm just trying to noodle my way out of the cave. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't need to get stuck on the rock wolf. It's okay, I promise. We'll get out of here. It'll be alright. Okay. Um. Yeah, alright. Perfect. So, oh, why am I opening that? Uh, <laughs> oh god, shoot, shoot. There we go. Alright, buddy, yeah, I'm gonna pause the video here, and then when we get back, we'll be at base with all the dung beetles at base, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that we have at the base, and then that'll be the episode. Alright, see you guys real soon. Alright everybody, and we are back at base now, and as you can see I have all the dung beetles behind me, okay? So these guys here will be our infinite fertilizer for basically forever as you can see. Because they're just gonna sit here picking up Fiomia poop all day. And uh, that's gonna equal us getting an absurd amount of fertilizer to grow as many things as we could ever want. Now do you need this many dung beetles? No. But like I said, I prefer to have a large amount of them on hand so that when I go to build like my mega base on whatever map that I'm on, I have the fertilizer production capability to get a very like effective and large greenhouse running. Because as you can see, my greenhouse up here is pretty well stocked, right? Got all my like veggies and stuff. Now up here, this is a little trick I like to use because I hate farming for these. Is I'll just plant narca berries on like an entire floor of a greenhouse by themselves. Okay, so that you know, while you're doing other stuff, you're getting them to grow and you basically have an infinite supply of them. Oh, okay. What am I missing? Stone, flint, and wood. Okay. Do, do, do. I know you have some flint, probably some stone, perfect. And you have the wood I need. Now, the reason I use the mammoth here as a wood gathering team as well is because it gets, if I remember correctly, a 75% reduction to the weight that it's carrying for wood specifically. And it can serve as like a battle team if it needs to. So it's, it's pretty good. That and I found this ridiculous thing in a drop, so the mammoth is like pretty tanky. Which is good. 
But as you can see, we have our industrial forge as well as inside here, we have now a chem bench up and running, okay? Now, the chem bench, the biggest reason why you want to rush to getting this is because it creates a ridiculous amount of the item that you're making at a slight resource cost increase to make it, okay? So you want to try to get that as soon as you have it unlocked like you want to build it ASAP, right? Alright, now, the next goal, I suppose, is going to be either, like I said, moving or making this area just bigger. Because, like, I don't have an actual house, and I would kind of like to build myself one, but at the same time, I don't technically need it kind of thing. Um, these two vaults right here, like, this one's for charcoal because from all the metal I was manually smelting, I just ended up with a lot of it. And this is going to be just fertilizer storage for now. Because as you can see, I have quite a lot of it. Like, to the point that I may not ever need to worry about it again. Like, regardless of how big I, I was to build a greenhouse. Because that right up there, like, I know that that looks big, but it's really not. Like, I've, I've built a lot bigger over my years of playing Ark, and there have been times where, like, if I wanted a base to truly be fully self-sufficient, I would have a greenhouse that has, like, 8 to 10 crop plots for every single type of crop you could ever want. With, like, mass refrigerator storage and such. Right, you want to really make it so that you just never have to leave. If you're breeding and stuff. Because I gotta go get, like, a T-Rex to breed with that one. Gotta go get us another UD so we can start getting eggs. You know, stuff. Get us some slots. And now that we have the Pokeballs, and hopefully they actually work, they, uh, they'll make this process a little bit easier. I'm gonna go in here and get my ghillie armor back out. Because I'm not going back in that cave for a little while. And I wasn't wearing it in there because I didn't want it to break. I got lucky the first time because there just wasn't anything in there, but... Like, right after that episode, I was like, man, I was an idiot. Like, that could have destroyed my very valuable ghillie armor. Because it's kind of hard to get it, because, like, the penguins aren't spawning from what I've seen. I mean, I'll go do some more scouting for them, but I hadn't seen it. So, it's all good. Yeah, but I'm going to get the wolves bred up, try to get myself uh, a better wolf for caving. Maybe some, like, melee mutations with some carry weight mutations and something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, because their, their carry weight's kind of bad, so it would be nice to have a wolf that has a little bit more. But as usual, thank you all for hanging out with me today, and if you enjoyed your time here today, please tell your friends. Remember to hit that subscribe notification thing and all that. And uh, I'll see you all real soon. Alexander, signing out.